The calendar turn means nothing to fate. Fate, fate thinks these Roman dates quaint. Fate operates in its own time. Fate got me stuck in the calendar turn of January 2009. Do you remember hope? Do you remember change? Do you remember how we were feeling post-solstice on the precipice of blackness and the American head of state? Sharp as attack, hot combs and drone strikes, an imperialist that could sing Al Green at the Apollo, sing with grace. Amazing how it felt to be black the day the calendar turned. The fate of a young man was filmed and then burned in our minds like a gun brand on a cross. Filmed, then burned like a cross on the front lawns of our black president reverie. If I could travel the days backwards through a black presidency, keep Sandra from driving, keep Trayvon from walking home, keep Eric from selling cigarettes, turn Jordan's music down, keep my people from praying in Charleston, from playing with their toys as Fate would have it, Obama's era coincided with the viral documentation of police aggression leading to black death. Oscar's fate sagely indicated what the next eight years would portend. Let the calendar turn. Somehow forward in time and backward in mindset. It's like a mind Kampf game show and your host is the new president. A tower of chump. Like this is the first time some man make me forge my own chains, build my own wall to fence in my not quite human form. And I'm praying that my DNA is configured for this fifth act, coded with emboldened tactics in the face of humid facts. But the pressure is radioactive. It feels like maybe the code is getting cracked and my skin is crawling back to beg this no rehearsal life for a chance and no consequences in practice. I'm a grown man with an eroded sense of how to move from part Poem to action to actively controlling how the calendar turns today in a stroke of fate. The calendar turns to fate. A day to honor ancestor, a gone too soon to turn fully to face the coming days. It is our fate to fight in the glow of the ghosts who protect us fate to fight by the light of an ever-present Oakland sun. Rest in peace, Oscar.